How's it going guys? My name is Spencer and I'm going to be showing you a series of record box uh, 5.3 tutorials. Uh, 5.3.0 is the newest released record box and I'm going to be covering a lot of essential information which you can use in the newer version of record box as well as some of the older ones and just some tricks and tips I have used along my DJing career so far to help me and just kind of like learn the system and stuff I wish I would have known when I started. Um, I'm going to be doing a full new library, a full new setup with full new songs and showing you guys how to set everything up from scratch. Uh, as I've, I've seen some of the tutorials are just way too long and uh, too intensive on, on everything at once. So I'm going to make a series of 10 to 12 videos uh, breaking down specific things that you could use to help yourself with record box and just kind of like how to get yourself into the software without problems. So the first step uh, into creating your record box uh, software is to go on to your internet browser um, and actually download, uh, type in record box. And then you're gonna click the first link which is the record box, the one that has the download. You're just going to go to the site, which is the official record box website. Don't download any of the, the external like record box downloads. You can download it directly from the website for free and use it to set up all your music for free. Uh, controllers are separate. Like if you're using them on CDJs, they're free because you're just going to export your already gridded songs. But if you're using like a uh, smaller, I know Pioneer Council, sometimes you'll have to pay for record box, which is kind of the same as Serato and all the other ones. So you're just going to hit this download link right here and that will start your download. Um, and once downloaded, you're going to have a file on the desktop that's the install record box uh, 5.3.0 or 5.3.1 or whatever the future version is on when you're watching this. So once you have that, you're probably going to need a software called WinRAR. Um, WinRAR is a file uh, extraction program. It's my favorite one. It's the cleanest. Um, so you're just going to click the first link again, it's from RAR Lab. It looks like a kind of sketchy site, but I've been using this for years. Um, you're just going to go down and find the English 64-bit, uh, probably 64-bit for your computer unless it's really old. You're going to click that, and it's going to be, is it harmful? Yeah, just keep it. Uh, and then it's going to install. And it's a pretty quick install. Um, and that what, what that will allow you to do is it will allow you to have these, like, it will give you this... Uh, file the the rar file this uh, book icon so this is your uh, rar file you're just going to go to right click extract files and then just extract them to your desktop so that that's going to create this file right here which is install record box uh, double click that um, double click again on the uh, run file and it's going to run you through the install I already have it installed right here but I'll just show you what it looks like just when you run it. So it's going to, would you allow, yes. So you're going to need admin privileges when you install this. English, next, agree, next, okay. So it's going to unzip here and it's going to install. It's a fairly quick install depending on your computer. Uh, you don't need an insane computer for this. Uh, I have a custom built one, but um, you don't really need an insane computer for this unless you're going to be doing running an actual controller from Rekordbox. Uh, the actual like gridding of your songs and setting cue points and everything that can all be done with a fairly slow machine so don't let that hold behind you um, other than that so you've officially installed record box and it is all ready in your computer to go so after you've downloaded your record box file what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to double click on your record box uh, application which is just installed and this is going to launch record box um yours is going to launch into a uh it's going to launch into a different like kind of like log into your pioneer dj account uh if you don't have one which you probably won't you're going to want to log into that at that time uh once you are logged in uh you will be able to go to your settings uh which are all up here and this will show you where um kind of like your account your license and everything where all this is. Um, so we'll go over these settings real quick. Uh, this is going to be one of the first things you want to do when you get into record box. So what I like to do for my record box is I like to, so I have two computers that I bring it back and forth on. So I have it saved on a hard drive, which is going to be my E drive and I have my C drive. 
uh, which is on my actual computer. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either create a new library or create a new database. So plug in your um, plug in your hard drive or whatever. But for now, we can just pretend that you are on your actual computer database. Uh, so this is going to be your library. So everything that you have in here. So all these songs, you're not going to have any songs in your library yet. But all these songs in here, they're going to be this database which holds all of the songs so it doesn't hold the songs it holds like the specific like the uh, cue points the markers and everything um, this is going to be in one specific location so your computer is going to be pulling that so that's why I say like back all this up to a hard drive so if you want to transfer this to computers or move it back and forth um, you can do so uh, and you can do it from the beginning right away so it's a lot easier so you're going to be wanting to look up the uh, imported playlist and if you uh, and then you can always create a new playlist if uh, Recordbox does not sense it so when you save it so it's when you open Recordbox it's going to ask you where you want to save it uh, choose your external drive at that point this is a pretty important thing uh, it's easy it's not super hard to change but it's it's a pain in the neck later I've had to redo my library once or twice uh, from separate computers so once that's done and your library is all in place, um, the next thing you'll need to do is importing songs. So the songs uh, that you're going to want to get uh, should all be stored in one location. So the easiest thing for me is making a folder. So pretend this right here is my hard drive. So I'm going to name the new folder and I'm going to name it music. Oh, there's already one named music, so we'll do music two. I'll show you how my hard drive is laid out so you can kind of see how it would be easier to lay out yours. So this is my external hard drive. It's a 300 gig hard drive, uh, basically just for record box. So I have my uh, record box. Uh, these are just like the, some songs I have. And then I have the, see the Pioneer file right here? This is your actual save file. So this is where um, this is where your master playlist goes, and this is where everything is, so like 516. Um, all this stuff gets updated at separate times when you play it. Um, like 628, like logged in today. So this is the playlist that uh, Recordbox is searching when it opens. It's going to look for this, so you're going to have to make sure your drive is plugged in, or it's going to say master database cannot be found. So how I organize my music is I, what I used to do is I used to do it in a sense of folders where I would organize it by kind of like genre of music. So like Future House, Feels the like Bro Step, Big Room, Bass House. This is just like stuff I did when I first started. Um, and it worked for a while until I got too big of a library. So once I got too big of a library, it was it was kind of a challenge to actually sort my music because of what I'll show you later how to move the music over onto your record box um, what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to create a big folder with all of your songs into it so it's fine if you just make a folder called music 2 and you have all your songs there I'll tell you why later but you want to keep all your songs in one specific area or you want to make sure that they're not gonna move from their location on the hard drive. I just find it easier to make a duplicate. So like say I buy an album, I'll copy paste the album um, and I want to put the entire album in record box. I will put the entire album into this record box and then what I'll do is I'll have my other copy which I'll just put in like my music storage location so that way record box it's only looking at these songs and they're all in the, all in the same folder because you'll be able to kind of finite organize in record box when you're doing that later um, in future tutorials I will be talking about uh, importing songs uh, analyzing uh, kind of like uh, outside analyzing so like with mixed and key how that can help you um, and just how to do it without mixing key if you choose not to buy it uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff uh, I'll be going over like gridding uh, setting up for like your live performance um, and just kind of like like your USB import and sync manager and how you can set all that up 
Uh, so I'm going to have like nine or ten tutorials all in order showing you uh, different things uh, which will be organized and then I'll have uh, downloads in the description. I'll have a uh, link for the WinRAR, I'll have a link for the record box, and I'll have a link to any other useful information in terms of like a notepad or something which I think will be useful for you guys. And I'll have that in every tutorial for each thing I talk about. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.